Yay. So, this is the official unboxing. And we sort of asked me to take a look at this product. And I believe, if I remember correctly, this is like a uh, metallic phoenix. I think they said 200 pieces. And we'll use store. Slowly becoming my favorite place in the world for kits. This is, they're awesome. I've put together the mechanical wasp and I'm currently in the process of putting together the angler fish. I'm super excited to see what this one's all about. This is, I guess it's, it's a newer, newer product of theirs. So here we go, official unboxing. And like always, they always send us a specific tool. This is neat, you know. As far as freebie tools go, it's kind of hit or miss. But these guys, so far I haven't had to use anything other than what they've provided. Let's see what we got here. Yay! This is really neat. Okay, so we got some screws, some bolts, some washers. I wanted to not research this at all to kind of keep myself from oh it's heavier than i thought i thought it was going to be super thin look at that that's got some it's got some meat to it i thought it was going to be super super thin from the picture anyway i didn't want to research about this i wanted to be surprised so cool okay so it looks like we've got a part guide and all the parts. Okay, it looks like there's a couple of each. So there's two of those. Yeah, this is actually a bit heavier than I thought it would be. It looked like it was almost a thick foil, but this is, it looks like laser cut metal. This is outstanding. It looks like this guy goes there. I love the aspect of, I don't know, the metal becoming life so like you know i've got a wasp made out of washers and bolts and plumbing stuff and i'm currently making an angler fish out of similar stuff but also some leather and it's going to be steampunk it's just a it's just a really neat aesthetic this kind of fits the 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 same type of aspect here so this is super neat. So it looks like I got about two of everything. Oh, but just one of you. Must be important. And one of you. Oh, the detail and the precision on these cuts is outstanding. There we go. Okay, so we got all of our parts. And I'm a little afraid to let these go running. Okay. I got all my parts. Now let's... Look at the instructions. Well, as with anything I'm not used to, it's going to take a little bit of trial and error. But let's see what they're talking about. I'll just get right into this. Don't bend repeatedly or multiple times. Okay. I'm going to start with this piece, and we're going to hold it accordingly. Okay, so now what I'm doing is we're lining this guy up. So just like anything else, there's a learning curve. Oh, we're getting tight. I'm supposed to flare those out, but this one was a little hard to bend in the beginning. So the nice thing about this, and what I like about both this and the other kits that I've done to them, is that it's their kit. Um, but they certainly don't go together themselves. So you feel an investment in putting it together. Um, and that is useful. Now it said don't over tighten. It's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> One down. That's super cool. Okay, so now we're doing big pieces. So, yeah, so far this seems to be the easiest way to go is to just kind of stack it on there. Oh, that makes more sense. Let me put the wrench on one side. Okay, now I got the wrench on one side. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nice and tight. Okay, but I don't want it too tight because i got to get washers in between these. 
So we're going to start there. So I do like that there's some degree of difficulty to this because I mean if it went together in just a second then you wouldn't have you wouldn't have any ownership in in the completing of it. And now even though it's a kit and I'm just following step by step instructions, I still feel as though I had something to do with building this thing. And that feels good. I like that sense of accomplishment. I always like to get a thread or two. There we go. And I can use this to get it semi-tight until I feel the other side spinning. And there it goes. So now I'm going to put the wrench on. And I'm going to work them against each other. I'm going to try using two wrenches. This two wrenches leveraged against each other is how I do it at work. Work on the cable. And that seems to be the best. But those are 12 to 14 inch adjustable wrenches. They're a little different than these guys. Yeah, that feels good though. Nice and snug. Gonna do the same to these. Finding it hard to see the backside. I've got it almost. So these are kind of a pain to work with, but I think if they were any easier, it would look silly. So I like that they use these. I like that it's not a hex head or, you know, a Phillips. Oh, just loosened it. There we go. So that one's nice and tight. But it's going to be a work in progress. As these things warm up, they're going to loosen up. I know that from the work that I do for real. Cool. Okay, so those guys are nice and snug. And I think what I'm going to do is... Um, step three. I'll take this thing. And number four is... Mostly looking to see if there's a better side, but I don't think so. I think they both look terrific. Okay... It does not say, this one does not say anything about washers. So far the pink is where it mentions the washer. Oh, and it wants us to flare it. We're just going to be subtle like that. We're going we're gonna to probably adjust this later. Okay, so now it says, use number threes. My goodness. So, if I've learned anything, it's always a good idea to peg it first. <laughs> And what I mean about pegging it, in this case, I'm just going to throw a real thin screwdriver in all of the pieces that it's supposed to go to. So now I know that this goes in first, then, oh, okay, so let's do this one first, then this one, oh, no, then this one, then this one, then that, then that. On this we're using seven, boy, I sure... Sure hope breaking that one to give us a tolerance. Okay, so now I should be able to push this through. I'm about ready to lose it. Well, it's a good thing, too, because I got one of these wrong. There we go. If you wonder where all these cuts are coming from, it's every time I screw up. I'm not showing you. This is hard. But... We like a good challenge, right? Because like I said, without that challenge, gee, this is seven millimeter. I sure feel like I could have used 11.
Well, here it is in all of its glory. We call it the Phoenix. Again, this is uh, a newer product that the Moyu store has sent me. Wanted an opinion, and my opinion is this is awesome. It's made with uh, a very good thick grade uh, 304 stainless steel. Uh, it's this has got to be laser cut because of the detail. It's absolutely beautiful. The precision is amazing. Um, it's hard to put together. It's it's. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's mostly because of my big old fingers and these little teeny screws, nuts and bolts, and uh, little teeny washers. But the nice thing about this is that I was, um, you know, anything that's, that's super easy to put together. You know, you feel like you had nothing to do with it, you know, and then you put it up on your wall and you're like, ah, that, 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 that's it. But this took a little doing. And so I'm not going to lie. There's a little bit of satisfaction when I put this in my shelf. Um, and so, yeah, I did that, even though I had nothing to do with the art, the design or anything like that. But uh, my hat's off to you, Morning Store. This is... Uh, it's very nice, very nice, uh, nicely done, nicely engineered. I've never seen anything like this, and, um, shoot, keep them coming. I will, uh, I will observe and give you my opinion on anything you send me. Thanks again to everyone who's watching. This was outstanding. Bye-bye now.